Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to The Mystery Files. The Mystery Files. Yes. Follow us on Instagram, The Mystery Files underscore, please. Yes, please. We just celebrated over 500 streams. We did, we did. And we all celebrated something else this week, did we not? We mm. won Best Podcast. Oh my gosh, yes, I forgot. <laughs> you were like, ah, what did we celebrate? Yes, we won Best Podcast at the WPPJ Radio Awards. We did, so thanks, guys. Which we didn't <laughs> attend yet again. <laughs> because we didn't know it was happening, but we love them the most, and we appreciate that they appreciate us. Yes, we're really, really happy with that. Like, honestly, it's an honor, and it's really yeah. exciting that we are being noticed for this kind of work. Yes, we're very thankful. Yeah, I actually, I actually talked to a few people this week who said that they genuinely they listen to us and they really like mm. us and i was just it warmed my heart just knowing people like hearing us speak i don't know yeah, I'm like, it's warm fuzzies we talk a lot normally so it's nice no people choose to listen to us when we're not talking no, exactly to them directly, it's like so. it, it makes me almost feel like y'all want to hang out with us Aww. and i think that's beautiful that's very sweet i want to hang out with you guys I, that's let's I all have do. a hangout post covid post covid let's have a let's have a mystery files convention but it's just like in my like, like in my driveway <laughs> It's like in my driveway. I'm selling 50 cent lemonade. Your driveway is so steep. I know. <laughs> the lemonade would just spill down your driveway. And people would be like, uh, why did we come to this? We could do a slip and slide. Like, no. Like, water it down. Logan, that literally <laughs> goes into an active street. Why would you do that? It could be fun. Maybe maybe I can talk uh, to fun um, if you want to die. Maybe I can talk to this uh, the safety patrol of uh, Pittsburgh and be like, hey, can can we have this road for my mm, podcast? I just I just don't think that's gonna be something that's gonna happen for you. That'd be kind of fun though. Maybe if I can convince them to do that, we can do that um that out so out out so outside show we want to do, um like how in like your we, driveway. how we. No, no. May, well, honestly, in my driveway, that'd be kind of funny. Uh, how would we even we sit? We that. would just be like on the side to like a <laughs> steep hill. Exactly. We could just go in your ba- like so scary funny. backyard at night. Yeah, it's like really scary. Though. I feel like I get my bit front by porch a... would be good though. It would be. I think it'll be cute. Be cute. We can't. I don't want to go in your backyard. I'm afraid I'm gonna get bit by some crazy <laughs> snake back some there. Snake. Oh, I was thinking snake. The Frick Park snake. Ooh, Frick Park five, snake. The five foot long one. He's your buddy. He's my best friend. Also, uh, your video you sent me yesterday was mm-hmm. Binks outside. Mm-mm. Where was she at? There was no. a window. Binks is our cat for uh, anyone. No, mm-hmm. I was outside on the front porch. Got it. I was trying to figure it out. She I'm was like, inside. I was like, there's no way Binks is outside. She yeah. needs it out there. But We've been wanting to use Binks for Mystery Files promo, but yes. she's uh, an anxiety like little girl. She's anxious. Yes. She's an anxious being. She's a she's little just... black cat. Yeah. Well, she's not little. She's she's got a little. She's pretty fluffy and chunky. But yeah, we love her. she's got a lot of bounce to her. <laughs> a lot of jiggle. Yes, <laughs> she's cute. Um, if anyone is wondering why we're like a little um sentimental right now, this yes. is our season finale, and this yes. is also our last time recording at the CMI yeah. studio for our podcast. Yes, it's very exciting. It's kind of sad too because we're both graduating. We are graduating yeah. seniors. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Cause this started as like a college like radio show and then mm-hmm. became like a college podcast. So now we're like going to branch out even more past our school. So it's very yeah. exciting, but it's like we have our little heart here, but we're going to be taking like about a month or so off and we'll be back for the summer tapes yes. season two. Mm-hmm. I just hold up. I just hold up. <laughs> Four. <laughs> it was just like two, but like with an exclamation point. So yeah, exactly. It might two look like four, points. but it's two and an exclamation point. It looks like a two as well. Yeah, it's so fine. we're yeah, so we're going independent with this because we think this is something really, really special. Yes. Me and Tiffany have done a lot of talking about it, and mm-hmm. we want to keep going. So it we're gonna keep so going. Fun. We're gonna keep trekking until we can't trek no more, friends. Exactly. Oh. Until there's no more mysteries left to solve. We're gonna wow, keep going. that sounds like a good old fashioned detective. I'll keep solving mysteries until there's more, no more mysteries left to be solved. Heard it here first, folks. I think this is a bit we've done before, but do you think any, like, detectives or people listen to our podcast to get information? They're like, maybe they have an idea where they went. Maybe they know. Maybe these weird kids know De- what's up. Definitely not this season, though, because I feel like on this season, we've tiptoed um, more into supernatural, cryptic yeah. kind of stuff, and I've loved it. I know. I loved it. No detectives coming our way, unless they're like, oh, well, they might have, like, Scooby-Doo energy, so maybe since they're so young, they'll exactly. know what's up with the world. Any detectives out there, please hire us. Hire us. As long as I'm you sure pay me. Great. Yeah, you pay need me. to pay me, though, first. Honestly, if you just pay me in, like, food and coffee, I'll be good to go. Honestly, Honestly. just coffee, for me real? 
I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, that, that could be a meal. As long as it's not plain black coffee. I'm not a lunatic. Mm, mm, mm. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Someone's like drinking their like hot black coffee right now. <laughs> they listening look up to the show. dramatically. They're like in their car <laughs> sipping their black coffee and they go, I'm Someone, glad it. Someone's like turning us on. It's like the end of their work day and they're pouring themselves a nice <laughs> cup of joe. You go, oh, again. We're completely like, <laughs> uh, we're completely roasting them for their They're coffee They're like, preferences. I just started listening after the last time you roasted me. I thought it was different this time. This time it's personal. Gaslighting our audience by accident. <laughs> it's one coffee sip at a time. Gas, what, what, what is it? Get, gatekeep, gaslight, girl boss. Is that a thing? <laughs> Is it, is it's real? like it's like a, I think it's like a uh, it's a TikTok meme. Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm not on the same side of TikTok. You. I'm really not. We've never been on the same side of TikTok. No. That's the other thing Barely. we have to do. We have to get on the same side of TikTok. No, we have to post more on the Mystery <laughs> Files TikTok. We do. Because we never do. We do. We did. We did Twelve Days of Mystery, which was really fun. That was fun. We should then, find other excuses to do things like that. But yeah, Christmas is well, just special. <sighs> I just need to stop being lazy and like pick clips from some of our best bits in an episode and post them mm -hmm. because I feel like that'd be great for us. But um, it's just, I'm just so lazy, much content so. to go through. No, exactly, it's a way, lot. <laughs> People who are listening to the show are like, "Yeah, it is." A lot There's a lot of content. <laughs> well, mm. I'm excited for this week because I have no idea what it is, but yes. you're like hyping it up when we walked in. I love so. being like I love every time we do a case and I'm like all cryptic about it. Like, oh, oh. it's like really good, but like it's, we've never I can't done believe it. we've done it. I but, know. It'll be great. The craziest thing. We've never done it. It's just really amazing <laughs> because I chose this for us. Yes. So do you want to give me a good old drum roll for the last case of season four? Wow, I can do that, I guess. Okay, you ready? Wait, make sure it's in the front so they get, oh, the oh. audience gets the nice little taps on get it. Get that with your microphone. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. This week on the Mr. Files, we will be covering... It's time for the Mothman, baby. The Mothman. The Mothman. The Muppet Man. Not the Muppet Man. Kermit the Frog. <laughs> hey, it's me, Kermit. The, Is that good? Not the Muffin Man, but the I Muppet. Can do, I can do man. the Miss Piggy. Can you? Hello. Hey. Hey, Miss Piggy. Was that good? No. <laughs> Wait, I can do the Never thing. Do, that you know the part where she gets like um she uh, she's getting melted in the Wizard of Oz Muppet movie. Uh -uh. <laughs> Uh. Anyway, well, when that happens to her, <laughs> she goes, she goes, I'm getting skinny. <laughs> I don't think you have the right accent for that. No, that's Miss Piggy. I feel like I could do it if I really remembered her voice, but I can't remember mm. her voice. We should dress up as uh, Kermit and Miss Piggy for uh, a Halloween episode. That's so rude of you. Why? Why? I'll be Miss Piggy. Okay. You can be Kermit. Right. I would I would love to be Miss Piggy. I feel like I can be Kermit. I have no idea <laughs> how he talks. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right. There's no know. way. I don't oh know. my god. But no, it is not the Muppet Man. It is the Moth Man. The Moth Man. I'm surprised we've never covered this before. I like don't I think said. we have. I'm like, think no, it never. Back. Wow. The only cryptic uh, monster thing we've done is uh, the New Jersey Devil. That's right. Sure. That's the one I was thinking of. I was like, we did something similar, but it wasn't and, that at all. And that was back in season one. That was my first episode. Wow. Remember? Because mine was, my first episode was the New Jersey Devil. Mm -hmm. um, yours was John Bonet, I think. Oh, but throwback. Yeah, that was, that was a great episode. Like I said, we're going to have to revisit that one. I know. Um, well, same with the uh, Jersey Devil, because I don't remember what it is anymore. Because it was so long ago. No, yeah, exactly. I, like, I mean, barely remember the Jersey Devil. We've talked about it before, but we want to like re-record episodes that we never got to film before, back when we were a radio show. So that'd be mm -hmm. really cool. It's gonna be so good. But I'm so excited to learn about the mob. Yes. Man. So let's get into it. So Yay. this case is gonna be breaking up into f a few different categories. We're gonna go through the history of it mm. in West Virginia, and then because that's where he's from. Ooh. But then we're also gonna talk about some local sightings that have been happening the last couple years in chicago in chicago Ooh. all right so mothman is an unidentified creature reported as a large seven foot tall gray creature with man-like legs <laughs> bat like wings and horrifying red eyes <laughs> Aww, that's cute <laughs> that's cute for you <laughs> yeah i just i hate that it says man-like legs just imagine like, like a nice wow. um you know the, like those the spongebob legs when he shows off his calf yeah, it's like a tiny little bump <laughs> Well, he's got like toothpick wings. <laughs> and then it's just everybody. <laughs> you meet the moth man. It's just like it's toothpicks like man -like for like legs. <laughs> it's SpongeBob's legs. Yeah. So the creature is said to have no head, with its eyes stuck to its chest, and its arms mm -hmm. are replaced by the wings, 
which are used to fly at over a hundred miles per hour. Oh, that's that so is scary. terrifying. That's so scary. Have you have you seen anything to do with Mothman on Discovery? Like any of those like weird niche mm. documentaries they would do? I feel like I've only seen it in an episode of maybe uh monsters in america they covered yes. a little bit wait i think we're talking about the same episode yes, maybe i feel like i watched it was mm -hmm. like one of the first episodes of monsters in america and it's like so like cringy i, I think love it was the that loch man. one he's like my third favorite uh your third favorite monster. yeah my gosh wait the loch ness monster is the first. first yeah jersey devil that yes too? okay yes. wow oh my wow. god you got it guesses. that was great thank you but no yeah i <laughs> With the 100 miles per hour thing, well, do you remember specifically in the Monsters in America episode when they did the CGI for the Mothman, they made him go by like so fast. <laughs> it was like terrifying to look at. And I was like eight years old looking at my screen like... You're like, uh... Um, like, it was terrifying. It was it's scary. It's terrifying, isn't it, Dad? Exa no, ex exactly. No, exactly. Turn it back off. No. <laughs> this is my favorite show, Logan. <laughs> I could do an impression of the Mothman flying. You want to hear it? Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. Thank you. That was pretty good. Now oh. do one where he's like a, what, he's up against one of those like little buzzer things. Does he have for moths? What are they called? Moth lights? Uh, bug lights. Bug lights, yeah. <laughs> or I'll, wait, I'll do the, I'll do the, I'll do the, um. The light noise? The light noise, yeah. Okay. You gotta do the light noise. <laughs> no, you do it. You have well, to zoom, you have to zoom into it first. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. I'll start from a distance. Okay, you're okay. ready? <laughs> that was really good thank actually thank you thank you it was wow. like a little scream i thought it was even like if anyone's casting for the mothman let tiffany know oh, let if me know guys a bug light let me know i got you <laughs> you're just a bug light and i am i'm built a like a bug light <laughs> <laughs> hang me up on your front porch why don't you i'm built like a bug juice <laughs> A bug juice. Uh, you ever have bug juice in your yes, life? Yes, no, I love bug that juice. That sounds amazing. I think they changed the name though. Why, I think for they real? I think they changed the name to jungle juice. And I'm like, that's literally a bad name for a children's drink, isn't but that, all right. Isn't, that's alcohol. Yeah. That's basically that's alcohol. But they there I looked at like the way they changed the logo and everything in the name and mm -hmm. I saw they put jungle juice. Oh my god. And I'm like, why would they put that on a children's <laughs> drink when it's literally supposed to be like an alcoholic thing that people like mix a bunch of junk in? Yeah, no, it is. Yeah. The, I'm just imagining, can you imagine if they did the Mothman on bug juice? Like, you have, like, the little, like, dark eyes on the labeling. It's, like, all so, cartoon and cute, and, like, then you just have, like, him all dark and, like, serious He's, like, dark eyes. and ominous, and he's, like, in the back aisle of the gas station, Ew. like, watching you. There's a light flickering in the distance, <laughs> on, like, right where his little bug juice bottle That's is. That's where he goes. He actually did a brand deal with, like, a... He has a brand deal with, like, a 7-Eleven in the middle yeah. of nowhere. <laughs> yes. My gosh. I'm just matching the legs again. Or like a Wawa. He'd probably be a Wawa. He wouldn't be yeah, at like a... he wouldn't a, be at a Sheets. He wouldn't be at a Sheets. He wouldn't be at a 7-Eleven. He'd well, probably be a Wawa. What, well, what's there. popular in West Virginia? I feel like Wawa. I don't popular know. Popular gas stations in West my, Virginia. My guess is Wawa. If I were to guess anything. Gecko. Ew. That's not as fun. That's not as like... <laughs> yeah, that's not great. <laughs> is Wawa one of them at least? No. Oh. Exxon well, is the next one. Exxon. Exxon. Like Exxon. <laughs> okay. Exxon, Exxon. Anyway. Well, we can give him Exxon because that sounds like a bug spray, so. Yeah, it does. It does. Aww. I feel like he would go there. He would go there. Cute little moth boy. All right. So the first ever scene of the Mothman was on November 15th, 1966, when Linda Scarberry, her husband, and another couple were in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, driving near the TNT area a local area that was used as a munitions factory and storage facility during World War II. Mm. As they were driving, they saw, some, they saw something in one of the buildings that they described as half man, half bird, with glowing red eyes, and a wingspan of 8 to 12 feet. Oh, that's too big. I know. Ew. That's like a really big creature. And when the creature let out a horrific screech, <laughs> they drove away. <laughs> Smart people. I however, drive so quick. <laughs> however, the creature remained in close pursuit, hitting the car's roof and reaching speeds of over 100 miles per hour. It backed away as they approached the bright lights of the city. Ugh. So basically saying that the Mothman can't go near strong lighting, mm -hmm. um, which makes sense. He's a moth. <laughs> He's a big moth boy. Yeah. He doesn't want to go near boy, the city aren't, light. Aren't moths like attracted to light? I thought so. Yeah. But they can't go near too much of it, right? I don't know. Something I feel like, like they can. Maybe he was just he just had the 
intelligence not to go in a place he'd be seen. That's very true. He likes to hide away in the dark. But yeah, um, we'll get into this a little bit, but people believe that the Mothman is almost like an omen for bad juju or Ew. bad things that will happen. So oh. even though the Mothman was attacking these people, he thinks it's because people believe that he's actually a protector of Mount Pleasant, West Virginia from the TNT area. So no one basically, there's theories that like it was a guy who went there and like mm. radioactivity turned into a Mothman. And now he's trying oh. to protect other people from having the same happen to him, oh, which is okay. why he was following them outside of the city, not to go to the TNT area. He's like chasing them out basically. Yeah. We'll get into it, but there's some, like, other weird cases where before really, like, big events in history have happened mm -hmm. that people have claimed to see the Mothman. Ew, that's so yeah. weird. Mm. Um, so the next night, Marcella Bennett was leaving her brother's house with her young daughter when she saw the creature leaning against her car. Uh. She then ran screaming into her brother's house with her daughter. They locked the door and turned out the lights, and they watched as the creature lurked around the windows with its glowing red eyes Ew. until it vanished. Oh, I would cry. I'd never leave the house. Why would Why would you, like, uh, okay, maybe, I don't know if they have a basement or not, but why wouldn't you, like, go to the basement or something? Mm -hmm. Like, why would you stay on the ground level of your home watching the creature, like, looking around the area? Well, the thing is, maybe they don't have a basement. Like, some places no, don't, yeah, you're but right. also, like... I, I don't know, I feel like I'd have to, like, bar all the windows and, like, mm -hmm. put furniture in front of the doors. I'd just be so yeah. freaked out or something. I, I guess you'd rather want to be on the ground floor so you could at least see it. Mm -hmm. So you don't have, um, what's the word? Like, I guess it's, like, better to know where it is than to, like, mm -hmm. be hiding and it, like, bangs through your windows or yes. something. Yes. Oh, and maybe if people think it's a protector, maybe he doesn't want to go into homes of people. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Imagine but, yeah. waking up at the, like, foot of your bed. Yeah. Oh, like a sleep paralysis demon, yes. but it's the Mothman? What if people have seen him as a sleep Ew. paralysis demon? That'd be crazy. Oh my god. So a lot of people see, like, red-eyed figures at the end of their bed. Did you, when you were little, did you ever, like, think there was, like, monsters, like, looking out, like, your window and stuff? Oh, like, definitely. Based off the shadows outside? Definitely. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. scary, right? It makes you paranoid of everything. Even yeah. stuff in my room, if there was, like, a certain thing that was shaped like something, mm -hmm. like, if there was, like, a pile of clothes in a corner or, like... Anything oddly shaped in a shadow, I'd be like, that's a creature in my bedroom. That's oh my like, whatever. God. I was so freaked out all the yeah. time. Yeah. I mean, we never talked about him, but like the Top Hat Man, like mm -hmm. that's like a big sleep paralysis mm. demon, which I have seen. If you've not seen the documentary on Hulu, Hulu. Was it Hulu? I think it was Hulu. Yes. It, it's called The Top Hat Man. Yeah. Please watch it. It's a phenomenon where a bunch of children all saw the same figure of a tall silhouette of a man with a top hat. Mm -hmm. And it was apparently a lot of people's sleep paralysis demon as a young kid. And it was one of mine. So <laughs> Logan saw it. I yeah. saw it. And do you remember how much it freaked me out? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I was uh -huh. like, almost, I was like going to cry. You were so freaked out. <laughs> I was scared because like I thought like because I thought no one understood. Didn't we yeah. have a sleepover that night we with someone? Did. Who was there? It was Nadia. Nadia. I was like, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it was Nadia, but mm, mm -hmm. that thing's horrifying. But yeah, I, I'm just imagining, like, I wonder if there has been cases where, like, kids have seen the Mothman in, like, West Virginia or something, and, like, mm -hmm. their parents are like, oh, no, you're having a nightmare, sweetie. And his, like, red eyes are, like, looking at you like this. And, like, the, if, if our audience is out there, I'm staring very piercely into Tiffany's soul right it's now. It's stressing me out. <laughs> it's scaring me just like the Mothman was. <laughs> <laughs> yes so yeah so he was like prowling around the neighborhood till he left Ew. so then a few days later tom yuri was driving near the tnt area where he saw the mothman flying in the air at first mm. he thought it was a helicopter <laughs> it's a weird looking helicopter <laughs> can you imagine seeing a giant <laughs> freaking bird thing here and you're like yep that's Wait, if he thought it was a helicopter, does that mean that, like, what does he think the Mothman a helicopter is spinning? Is? Like, because I'd imagine if it's flying like a bird, it should be going moth, straight. If, if it's, it's a moth, moths, like, go in circles a lot. But a helicopter would go, oh, like, like, the... like, one yes. singular rotation, but yes. he's just doing rotations. Yes, you're right. So it's like, is he thinking it's like its wings are going like sweet? Or it's like that. Remember that meme that went around for the longest time and that like ballerina thing that like flew mm -hmm. into the fireplace? Mm -hmm. What if he was flying like that? Oh my god, that is so funny. Flying like a ballerina into the fireplace. I just want to know what this guy has seen. Um, <laughs> that like, like, what does he do if he sees an actual helicopter? He's like, oh my god, what is that? What is that? <laughs> Heaven forbid he sees a plane. Heaven Poor guy. Forbid. 
<laughs> Honestly, I probably believe a plane was more like the Mothman than a helicopter. I, I agree. Helicopters move a very specific way that I don't think a flying guess, creature would. I guess maybe he would have thought it was a helicopter based off of, I guess, the wingspan or something. Maybe. That, like, I feel like maybe because it's a six to eight foot wingspan. So mm -hmm. I feel like that could be like pretty. I mean, I think that's still smaller than a helicopter, right? I don't know. Well, definitely smaller than a helicopter. How but I'm like, wide is a helicopter? I'm really the abusing the Google today. Abuse of the Google. Um. Oh, wow. Is it large and in charge? The tail rotator is six feet. Ooh, so it so it, it like it's possible that like that's probably where he got it from thinking like the wingspan was like of mm -hmm. a helicopter wait was it a night that he saw it or during the day it was a night okay well yeah i get it now i, I don't think mothman say. comes out during the day if i saw mothman <laughs> do you imagine if he was just walking around the city <laughs> he goes, block hey getting my coffee he, yeah, he's getting coffee he's getting a pastry from the local <laughs> bakery he supports local businesses Aww, I, he's an ethical king that would be just that'd be so cute he can have a little cartoon show <laughs> Mothman's Monday mornings. We'll pitch it. A little cartoon show. Mothman Mondays. Mothman Mondays. Aww. And it's just him on his Monday morning casually. Okay. So, after he, after Tom Yuri saw that it was a giant bird <laughs> circling in the air, um, uh, it started circling his car a few times and the creature flew away. Ooh. He was one of the few people to see it during the daytime. Wait! Wait, so we oh, did see it during the so day. So we did see it during the day. Ew, my, that's okay. my bad. That's well, my bad. You're bad. But the thing is, he still thought it was a helicopter. Okay, th somehow that's worse, though. Oh, actually. yeah. Somehow that's worse <laughs> for me to think about Like, that. get your eyes checked, buddy. Mm -hmm. If you think that's a helicopter. Get your eyes checked. Tom Yuri, <laughs> wherever you are, I hope you have a good, uh, what's it called? Day? It's the eye doctor. Good day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> good day. You know what, Tom? I hope you have a great day. I wish the why, best of why luck. Was I don't know. You said I hope you have a good, a good what? Optometrist. Optometrist. Yes. Yes. I hope you have a good optometrist who can help you with your eyesight. Oh my god! I hope you have a good day. Sheesh! That's crazy. <laughs> I can't believe this. I just look for the best, you know? What can I say? So yeah, so over the next years, sightings of the Mothman increased throughout Point Pleasant. The national media descended on the small town, along with thousands wanting to get a glimpse of the creature. Mm. Yeah, so... I love getting a glimpse. I'm still waiting for my glimpse. Well, they have that statue. There. Oh, I've seen pictures of the statue. Mm -hmm. I've never seen it, though. I really want to go person. see it. Yeah, I haven't seen it in person. I feel like it's big. Mm -hmm. Like, large and in charge. Mm-hmm. I've seen, like, I've had people on, like, just Snapchat who've gone there and just will send me a private Snapchat picture of them Aww, just at the Mothman like, you know, statue. You like the Mothman. <laughs> but I've never talked about that I like the Mothman before. You so seem just, like, like someone who would like the Mothman, though. Do I? Yeah, you got Mothman Aww. energy in the nicest way. Honestly, yeah, I can see it. That can be a dig, whatever you want to think of it. <laughs> <laughs> it can be a dig if I feel like it. <laughs> it's a dig if you want it to be. So, yeah, so other strange occurrences soon began happening in Point Pleasant. Uh, some residents reported finding their animals dead, oh, um, oh. and some were drained of blood and had their heart removed as well in the area. Oh, so people dark. believe, yeah, mm. so people believe, so even if the Mothman's a nice guy, he's out here eating pets. He's doing bad stuff. He's just not, mm. not doing Don't what he's touch supposed the to be babies, doing. the little animal babies. And then some residents have also claimed to have received visits from Men in Black. <gasps> Yay, Ooh. Men in Black! Men in Black. Men in Black are the people who... CIA, FBI. <laughs> CIA, I hate that. I, whatever voice you just did. That's, that's what Men in Black is, the CIA, FBI. I, I don't think that's completely correct. It could be. Men in Black are the people who, like, come if there's aliens or something to get you to, like, shut up about it. And that's the CIA and the FBI. But if there's yeah, other stuff like they're trying to hide, they're going to exactly. come to you and be like, hey, do this for your can shit. You just, can you just imagine being, like... A men in black and it's kind of like like imagine being in the cia and it's like hey you got to go to uh point pleasant west virginia uh there's a moth man on the there's loose there's a moth man you gotta go and like oh again <laughs> again with god this moth tuesdays man. suck man i hate tuesdays <laughs> mondays are for the moth man <laughs> My, oh <laughs> they go on tuesday after it's claimed on a monday yeah perfect that sounds about right i want to be in the men in black Let's, can we bring the women in black? How about that one? Okay. <laughs> I want to start clearing some memories. Is that an issue? <laughs> women in black. We're starting it right here, guys. They just wrapped well, up. that's the new one. The new Men in Black they did? They had like a woman in black. But yeah. was it called Women in Black? 
No, it was so-called Men in Black. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure it was. I'm sure it was. <laughs> Nothing against a Will Smith, but start some rebranding soon because... Yeah. Honestly, wait. Women in Black? That'd be, like, amazing. That'd be pretty good, actually. I'd be... I'd, I'd watch it. Mm -hmm. I was also thinking marketing campaign for us. Mm-hmm. And you do like a little thing. <gasps> Wait, Why haven't we done that before? That would be so slick. We're both like wearing black suits with like black sunglasses. Yes. Guys, season five of the show. That's that what would we're be doing. So cute. Coming this fall. We can stand in for like an <gasps> Mystery elevator. Mystery in black. Mystery. <gasps> <gasps> oh, I just forgot our pitch. Oh my gosh, I'm guys. So just forget you heard that, but forget, also remember. If you're listening to us right now and you. you you, you realize by now we come up with our marketing plans right here. during the show. Because so it makes the most sense for If us. you heard this. You did it. You did it. We just wiped them out. <laughs> Women in black. <laughs> the mob man just kind of like peers up in the window right here. And he's just oh. kind of like, hey. Hey. <laughs> and then we're like, we don't wipe their memories of that. But we no. wipe the memory about the marketing <laughs> plan. You guys can see the moth man. You can see the moth man. You're fine with that. Yeah. But us? No. No. no I Incorrect. How would you? How do? How do we memory wipe an audience as a podcast and just like mostly audio? Oh, you can do it through sound. You ready? Wow, that was pretty good sound Honestly, effect right there. Yeah. We just did. We're pretty good at that. I don't we know. We better work. We better work. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, the men were believed to be a part of the government, and they showed up at witnesses' homes and tried to get them <laughs> to stop talking about them. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna help. All right. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> hey, stop talking about that thing, please. Okay, I guess. Imagine, imagine being a government employee who is, like, <laughs> meant to, like, help with, like, supernatural <laughs> encounters, and your job is to bully people and to stop it's talking about It's just to be like, things. hey, can you please not talk about that anymore? It's not good. Yeah. It doesn't look good for America. They're like, we're going to need you to stop talking about the Mothman before you lose an ankle. <laughs> what if they go, no? <laughs> what if they come to our door since we're doing <laughs> Ah, I love the Mothman. I've seen him with my two eyes. I've also seen <laughs> aliens. I've seen everything Are I shouldn't seen? see, men in black. Men in Black, we have seen literally everything there is imaginable, so I've seen everything come and get us. that you don't want me to see. So you better come <laughs> to my door tonight or I'm gonna tell everyone even more. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> Try me right now. I just it's just so funny about like trying to make them stop talking. Like it's almost like they're getting bullied in high school or Aww. like middle school. It's like guys, please, please stop talking, stop about, talking the mom. about it. It's upsetting me. <laughs> I wonder like what extent you have to like take to be like approached by the men in black. Like how I feel like you have to be like definitely um I feel like we would never get like that, that happening to us because we don't we only do a case mm -hmm. every episode unless we end up leaking something. Interesting. Interesting. Like a like a video. Like Polybius. Polybius? I'm surprised we haven't been contacted about Polybius. I wanna be contacted, um, guys. Can someone <laughs> in the comments somewhere please tell me how to get like contacted If you guys are friends with anyone in the men in black send them after us it, go under one of our instagram posts at the mystery files underscore and yes. tag tag your favorite men in black yeah your fit your cousin your aunt your uncle your whatever <laughs> your grandpa your grandma your, your grandmother your great your grandma. great grandmother yes please if you know anyone is involved please let us know because i want to get involved <sighs> imagine having someone from the men in black on the show oh he wouldn't talk the entire time he'd just sit here <laughs> he'd be like he's like i can't talk about that's that online. Non, it's non, non that does not exist <laughs> No, we don't, we like we accidentally expose something to the world. And he just has like a heat ray gun, and he he goes. You're gonna have to take this down. You're gonna have to take this off the internet. No, exactly. Shut this down. Shut this down right now. So yeah. So um, some believe the Mothman may have been involved in the worst disaster to fall on the city of Point Pleasant, mm -hmm. which was on December fifteenth, nineteen sixty seven. The silver bridge leading out of the town collapsed and fell into the river, mm. um, tragically killing 46 people. Oh one witness, goodness. yeah, one witness claimed to have seen the Mothman on the bridge shortly before the collapse. However, the mm. cause of the collapse was later determined to be a structural failure. So oh. some people believe that like the Mothman was responsible for it. Mm -hmm. But also on the flip side of the coin, mm -hmm. um, we talked a little bit about how the Mothman is like a warning, warning. creature. Mm -hmm. So it's like interesting that in a part of another tragedy that happened in this small town in West Virginia, yeah, the Mothman was said to be sighted. I feel like he could definitely be like a sense of warning mm -hmm. because I feel like all the other stories, stories we've heard about him, he's only been like around small groups of people. But if he's yes. around like a huge group of people trying to save them and mm -hmm. they saw him, then I feel like that would make sense because he's trying to save them. Yeah, I would. I think I would. Ra honestly, for the Mothman, I'd rather believe he was a creature of 
good and like warning yeah. instead of a creature of ill intent. Yeah, he might be musty and dusty, but he's got good intent. I feel yeah. like he's also like kind of seems like a little angel or something, like mm -hmm. a little like a darker, like angel. a dark angel type I don't of vibe. Know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I can see like that. Like a little muddy like an angel. archangel type yeah. of thing going on. I'm like, I appreciate yeah. you. I could see that. I just think also, um, I don't know, like with the whole fact of, you know, animals don't necessarily understand things the same way humans do like we've seen yeah. it time and time again like stuff with um king kong like king kong mm -hmm. is mad because x y and z happened not because he actually wants to hurt anyone yeah or stuff like that um I, mean, I, I think that's like a possibility for the mothman too it's also like the thing he's only feared because people don't understand him a lot of people fear what they don't yeah. understand so i feel like seeing a strange creature with red eyes could be something fearful but he could also he be showing up yeah before tragedy it's almost like he has like a sixth sense for that yeah or it's, it's like a like a paranormal type like an angel type thing yeah that he appears it's when these very things possible happen. i don't know so yeah um no more sightings of the mothman occurred after the collapse and mm. the bridge has since been rebuilt still thousands of people wow. visit point pleasant hoping to see the creature Ooh. um wait what year did that happen again that was 1967. okay so no one's seen him since then uh, s supposedly. Okay, okay. Um, until recently. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Yes. So, mm. that's basically the gist of the history in the Point Pleasant area. Okay. Um, so, let's go into the case of the Chicago Mothman. Ooh, Chicago. Yes. So, this uh, article is actually from NPR. Surpri really? I was I was very Don't they surprised. Do the Tiny Desk concerts? Is that the they same people? Do you know what I mean? Yes. NPR Tiny Desk? Yes. I think that's what they do. But I was surprised to see that they were doing stuff like this. Ooh. So I'm this excited. article is written by Robbie Telfer. Nice, so Telfer. Thank you, Robbie. Thanks, Robbie. Um, and it goes into some evidence as well to the Chicago Mothman. Ooh. So the Chicago region has been experiencing a collective case of the heebie-jeebies heebie -jeebie <laughs> in recent word. years. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever said that word I on the show. Heebie -jeebies. Heebie -jeebies. Heebie -jeebies? Heebie -jeebies? Is it heebie-jeebies? That's how heebie -jeebies. I say it. There's no V in it. Heebie-jeebies. <laughs> heebie-jeebies? Is that how you say it? I feel like that's how I've always said it. Yeah, no, it. it's heebie-jeebies. Oh, I'm, I'm the wrong one here. You said letters. <laughs> I think, I'm pretty sure. I've always said heebie-jeebies, but I could be so wrong because I'm me, and that's fine. No, you're right. <laughs> Thank um, you. So yeah, ever since uh, reports of a giant flying winged humanoid began surfacing mm. in 2011, the reports which peaked in 2017 inspired Chicago-based comics artist Sarah Beacon to bring Curious City this question. There was a rash of sightings in Chicago of a creature that people then called the Chicago Mothman. Mm. Did we ever find out what it was? <laughs> well, Despite exhaustive research, interviews with witnesses, and cryptozoologists, sounds... which I think we've talked about on the show. <laughs> that sounds so fun. Cryptozoologists? Zoo That's I great. I think we st there was something very similar. This might be it wasn't different. zoologists, though. It was something with, like, ancient stuff. Yeah, like someone who like specifies in like crypto mm -hmm. science, like cryptic but this tales. This sounds very fun. Why? Why weren't we cryptozoologists? No, I'm like, let's change imagine? my career after I've graduated college. That's fine. get our diplomas and then go right into grad school for uh, cryptozoologists. What? I don't, where would you even go to school for that? I don't know. Maybe in zoology. California? Maybe. No. California's got everything. Maybe yeah. just plain Jane zoology. It's not like you have enough definitely. knowledge in it. They most Aww. definitely do. Zoologists are living the dream. They really are. With though. animals all the time. Honestly, that's probably so fun. They're like, let me go uh, feed this baby penguin. And you get to be, oh, I want to feed a baby <laughs> penguin. Why did you have to say that? Because I knew it. it I you'd feel it the penguin. most. Oh, yeah. I want to <laughs> pet a penguin so bad. Like, I want to oh. hug one. Eee. I also want to get a picture with one. The day that I can have a picture of a penguin on my Instagram will be the most fulfilling day of my life. We'll find a way. Period. Aren't there some at the aviary? There are some of the aviary. You can go there. This is not promo, but also <laughs> aviary. Yeah. So um, they interviewed a cryptozoologist and one good old-fashioned monster hunter. Ooh, and they were that. unable to find the bottom of this mystery. Mm. But the, for the sake of science, they've compiled everything we're able to uh, figure out into a digital case file. Our mm. hope is that the Chicago Chicagoans? Chicagoans? Sh Chicagoans? Chicagoans. People from Chicago. Hello, Chicago. <laughs> we'll be able to keep this investigation going so that maybe we might one day find our friend. Hmm. 
Um, which I, this is like a really funny thing to add, but <laughs> they have a disclaimer oh, in no. this article that says if you go hunting for Mothman and you break any laws or are broken into the pursuit of Mothman, they're not responsible. Stop it. Like they literally had to put something in here that was like, hey, just so you know. Um, if you die from the Mothman, it's not our fault. Yeah. Or like if you do something like insanely illegal and go, NPR told me to do it. They told me I could. They told me to hunt the man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my um, gosh. So yeah. So here are some physical characteristics people have talked about when they've seen the Chicago Mothman. So mm -hmm. they also believe this one is six and ten feet tall with a ten foot wingspan. Mm -hmm. uh, the species it's been compared to is a big owl, a pterodactyl, <laughs> a pterodactyl. and a bat. Can you imagine oh, if it was a pterodactyl? <laughs> Can you imagine if the Mothman was in prehistoric times? What if he was? Whoa. What if he's like an existing That's kind of alien, iconic. not alien, existing dinosaur? Yes. <laughs> um, with an alien. people people are uh, okay. saying its eye color either red, green, yellow, or orange. Like people have made Ew. sightings for like, yeah, he has red eyes. No, he's got green eyes. No, he's got yellow eyes. Ew. So NPR is just kind of like, it's probably every color. It's probably just all of them. He just changes <laughs> yeah. in his different moods. They change color. That'd be so cute. Yes, and others have reported features of fur, leather-like skin, leather. bat wings, and also no neck. That stresses me out. Which Get is, a neck, buddy. Which is interesting because the West Virginia one, people said he didn't have a head. head. Mm -hmm. mm. This one has a head. Yeah, but no Ew. neck. It so I think like... I still think that um, I think it's still the same thing, but mm -hmm. it's a different way of saying it. If that makes sense, like I think like what they're thinking is is that he's kind of just like curved on the top, mm -hmm. and his like silhouette below is kind of more rectangular. If that makes sense, yeah, maybe more oval. If That's anything. Cool. But yeah. Ew. No neck. No neck moth man. No neck man. No neck man. He's a no neck moth boy. Oh, how how will he how will he turn his head? He has no neck. He has no neck. It's almost like an owl when they have like they're all like squished in. Yes. And they're like, oh, and they can't really do anything. Yeah. Oh, um oh so my. so people believe the behavior of the mothman is that he is screaming. And he has been shown flying towards a lake, disappearing, going extremely fast, and uh, looking at people with its eyes, like very intently. Ew. Which kind of goes back to the whole sleep paralysis thing. That's we were so scary. About. Well, imagine, like, what if his screams were kind of like human, but also mm -hmm. like bird like? But imagine just hearing like a grown man scream and just fly into water. <laughs> like, no, exactly. Can you just imagine you're walking through Chicago, like, doo -doo 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 -doo, and you just hear, and it's like, what is that? Where'd that come from? Where'd that come from? Just seeing something that big just like fly around you, I'd be very afraid. Yeah. So most people in Chicago say they have seen the Mothman in big areas of water, which okay. is very interesting because that kind of plays into where they saw him at the bridge mm -hmm. uh, in West Virginia. So is it almost like is water like his main place of does he like stay. live in the water yeah like, or like kind of that might be like where his habitat is he has a is. nest he has a big nest near the water yeah so scary so we're gonna get into some eyewitnesses yes eyewitnesses yes we love them Yay! so this one is by anonymous uh august 21st 2017 um, in the northerly island during a solar eclipse. Oh my gosh. Reported to you from Phantoms and Monsters website. Mm. We were watching and observing as the moon began its transit when we heard a very loud scream. This sounded like squeaky truck brakes that squeal when you're pressing hard on them. Mm. At first we thought that's what it was. Maybe a CTA bus or a big truck with brakes that needed changing or maintenance. We heard it again. This time it lasted about three seconds whereas the previous sound was brief. I looked up to see a large object flying low over the docks that stick out in the Burnham Harbor from across the water. Mm. The, object the object looked like a large black bat, but also had humanoid features such as pronounced arms and legs. You see his legs. I feel like mm -hmm. I never pictured him with legs. But we just talked about I, him with well, legs. Well, yeah, with SpongeBob legs. Yeah. But I feel like I kind of forgot he had legs. I kind of <laughs> pictured him more like a... Like, he has no legs. Know. He just kind of sits there like a pill. He's yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> like a veggie tail character. Yeah. Well, like, it's, like, very prominent that people, like, have seen legs on him. Which okay. is just very, very interesting. I forgot the whole SpongeBob legs bit. Yeah. Man. But, ew. I hate that. 
so yeah um and that's a very interesting you think they're like bird legs but human legs like you think he's got a bunch of just like human feet for his toes his bird toes mm-hmm <laughs> so disgusting <laughs> so uh so another report is from an uh, a witness named arian aaron drain in august mm. 2017 which seems to be a similarity with this a part of the west town neighborhood in chicago um and for this one he said he was spending the afternoon on a rooftop and he saw something in the sky fairly high up and fairly far away it wasn't being buffeted about by the wind and it was moving slowly but not randomly Ew. so it's almost like uh like last week we talked about ufos and stuff it was almost mm -hmm. like staying stationary Ew. in the sky like it almost had like very good control like soaring almost it. like a yeah plane and i actually have a video Ooh. of it so Spice it up i'm a going little. to show this to you now it's like a 10 second clip okay so if you can see this is the chicago sky mm -hmm. and in the distance there's like this little black dot you can see but it's kind of like flapping its wings do you mm -hmm. see it Ew. yeah so that is the video evidence they believe they have of that's the that's weird man. ew and he's out during the day yeah me intrigued exactly yeah. so there's been other things like this and uh, another witness was by anonymous date february 22nd 2019 Ooh, in recent. woodstock illinois so it was said that he thought that it may have been a big bigfoot initially but mm. then noticed that it had a large set of membrane wings attached in the back mm -hmm. extending over the top of its head he described the shape mm. of the wings as that of a gargoyle the body was eight uh -huh. to nine feet in height and covered in dark fur the arms and legs were also well defined again they're saying that this mothman has very defined features in his arms and his legs that's so weird terrifying what if he's just like a branch off of bigfoot though like he's just mm -hmm. like an advanced evolved bigfoot that has wings mm -hmm. like that would uh, that no would exactly yeah. it's crazy like it's just it's just a very interesting case so yeah th those are some of like actually recent cases that have happened so mm. it's almost asking do they think like did mothman move mm -hmm. did he move to chicago he went, <laughs> like, did he pack up a u-haul and go he went i'm out of here buddy he said i gotta go so i'm gonna build a whole I'm, new nest i'm heading out of chicago town. he wanted to yeah. be a star in chicago yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. exactly it's, it's crazy so those are the eyewitness accounts so the last thing we're going to talk about is the analysis of the mothman Ooh, the analysis. so so folklorist jan harold uh Bernavand, notes that the Mothman has been wildly covered in the popular press, some claiming sightings connected with UFOs, Ooh. and others claiming that a military storage site was a Mothman's home. Mm. Bernavan notes that recountings of the 1966-67 Mothman reports usually stated that at least 100 people saw Mothman, with many more afraid to report their sightings. Mm. But observe that their written sources for such stories consisted of children's books, or centralized or undocumented accounts that fail to quote unidentified people. Mm -hmm. Renavan found ele elements in common things among many Mothman reports as much older folk tales, suggesting that something real may have trigger triggered the scares and became woven into the existing folklore. He also records an anecdotal tales of Mothman supposedly attacking roofs of parked cars occupied by teenagers. Mm. so so let's destroy the teenage anarchy yeah <laughs> honestly like i feel like i've heard the one about um him living in a military base before i don't know mm. where but that just seems something familiar i've heard of before i feel like that'd be so cool like very like area 51 but mm -hmm. not at all oh my gosh i didn't even plan this at all but mm -hmm. this is kind of like a connection, connection. of last week that's mm -hmm. kind of fun in, in men in black too it's like a little connection wow look at me <sighs> producer king what can i say <laughs> So, conversely, Joe Nickel says that a number of hoaxes followed the publicity generated by the original reports, such as group of construction workers who tried flashlights and helium balloons. Oh so these people God. got, like, giant balloons and put flashlights on them so to scare people oh into gosh. thinking it was the Mothman. They see one light, though. They went, how would they think that was the Mothman? <laughs> well, they probably put two flashlights oh on it to really gosh. do the But wouldn't the they trick. be, like, all over the place? His eyes yeah. must be really weird looking. 
my god yeah, exactly so um nickel uh nickel attributes the mothman stories to sightings of barn owls suggesting mm. that the mothman's glowing eyes were actually red eye effects caused from the reflection of lights from flashlights or other bright light sources mm. benjamin radford points out that the only report of glowing red eyes was second hand and that of shirley henzel quoting her father so okay. almost they believe like even when the reports of the mothman happen some people believe that they think uh uh what is it this is kind of like uh the ideas that we talked about way back when we did the dancing plague almost mm -hmm. um these ideas of hysteria of um oh well this person says they saw it or they were doing it so mm -hmm. i must believe that too yeah yeah it's also like a game of telephone like the more it gets mm -hmm. passed around the more the story grows or changes exactly so, according to a University of Chicago psychologist, David A. Gallo, uh, 55, said sightings of, oh wait, sorry, uh, he saw 55 sightings of the Ooh. Mothman in Chicago during 2017, which is what so we talked many. about briefly before. So, uh, a Fortean researcher, Lon Strickler, had a selective sample of people. Gallo explains that he's not sampling random people and asking if they saw the Mothman, He's just counting the number of people that are voluntarily coming forward to report a sighting. According to Gallo, people are more likely to visit a paranormal-centric website like Strickler's might also be more inclined to believe in and therefore witnesses existence of a Mothman. Mm, um, that makes sense. Yeah, so, um, so the last like theory analysis of this is that mm -hmm. some pseudosciences uh, believe uh, that the Mothman is an alien. A supernatural manifestation or a previously unknown species of an animal. Mm -hmm. In a 1975 book, The Mothman Prophecies, which is an amazing book title. That sounds so fun. <laughs> by author John Keel claimed that the Point Pleasant residents experienced uh, precognitions, including uh, premonitions of the collapse of the Silver Bridge with mm -hmm. unidentified flying object sightings and visits from inhumane or threatening men in black and other phenomena. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah, so this is basically saying that um, people believe that they made up the Mothman and it's a UFO. So okay. they're like seeing a UFO like do these things or like maybe crashing the bridge possibly mm -hmm. um, and saying it was a UFO, but people are like, you know, trying to cope with it. So they're like, oh, it was a Mothman. It must yeah. be this. Which we've talked about before is that mm -hmm. with some of these cryptic cases that some people do interesting things to cope with tragedy in yeah. um, mythology. I feel like it could still be a UFO. Like, what if it was even, like, it was deceiving them mm -hmm. and visually changing the exterior mm. of it? So it was like, oh, that's not alien. That's some weird creature on Earth yeah. or, like, something it like that. It could have one possible exoskeleton, but it, maybe it can make variants of it. Mm -hmm. That could be interesting so as well. So it's not as, like, a big of a threat or something. I don't know, just to, like, exactly. test the waters with new visuals. <laughs> so... Lastly, Point Pleasant now holds a annual Mothman Festival starting in 2002. Um, and it was to help make creative ways for people to come visit Point Pleasant. Mm. And now people celebrate the Mothman in pop culture, festivals, and in art. So That's so fun. Yeah, Aww. that's basically the case of the Mothman. Mm, so what so do you cute. think? I don't know. I love the idea of him being an alien just because I'm me and I love little alien boys. Yeah. I had a feeling yeah. seeing that that you would really like the alien like, one. Ooh. Well, the thing is, I said in the middle of the episode, I was like, oh, what if he's like some like mm -hmm. Bigfoot alien I didn't want to give it away, thing. though. So I was like, you were well, like, oh, weird. Well, people said they've attested to thinking it is Bigfoot. So it's mm -hmm. very possible. like Just an evolved version of like something yeah, exactly. else out there. Something mm -hmm. else supposedly out there. I don't know. Just I like the weirdness of it. I like thinking he was a mutant, honestly. Yeah. I like thinking maybe it was with that TNT area or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, and I also will stick to the theory that I think the Mothman is good. I, I think, think he's he a good, good guy. Like, I don't agree with his decisions to, like, you know, like, eat creatures and little animals. Yeah. But the thing is, he doesn't know any better. It's just as humans hunt. Mothman, if you're listening, can you pick a new diet? Like, pick can a you new go, diet. We can, can help you. Go get you. a salad. We're going to make you a you salad. Know. I don't know. We can do Taco Tuesdays in my place. After Mothman Mondays, you can come over for Taco, Taco Tuesday. Tuesday. Mothman Monday. Please. Yeah. I love it. So, yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> so, I guess the yes. case of the Mothman will remain mm. a mystery.
Hey. Thank you guys. Yes, thank so you much so much, watching. guys. We'll see you for the mystery files. Presents. The summer tape. Yes. Yes. We will be back in about a month or so. And yes. we'll give you <laughs> the content we love to create, but this is our season finale. Yes. Thank you for listening. Thank you guys. We love you the most. Yes. If you're yes. not, please follow us yes, at the mystery please. files underscore on Instagram mm -hmm. to know when the new episodes are coming. We'll and we do, honestly, we do amazing promos, I think. We do. They're so, a lot of fun. So yeah. check them out. All right. So we will see you guys later. See you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>